So I want to do a quick video. This is just like another video I made except without all the rambling. We're going to set up um, on Zen server a pre-made template of a virtual machine image we're going to get from a third party for Ubuntu. We're going to spawn a virtual machine from that template. We're going to install Zen server tools and then we're going to set up uh, graphical VNC and determine the IP address of the guest virtual machine and then connect to that VNC. So let's get started. Um, I'm going to use um, Stacklet and if you want to set up your Zen server with uh, Zen Center the first time go to your Zen server IP address. Um, you should get uh, a nice little installer. This is whatever IP address you set up as a management IP. This is the Windows MSI installer. Download that, install Zen Center. And after you install Zen Center, go in here, right click, add server, and put in your server IP address and the login information. It will show up here, and you'll have all this stuff. I'm going to get my pre made virtual machine image from Stacklet. Now, of course, you can add virtual machine and choose the ISO of Ubuntu and run through the installation of Ubuntu, but these wonderful people have gone through the work of setting up the Ubuntu server already and doing some optimization work to make it uh, a nice small virtual machine. I don't know all the optimizations they do, um, but these virtual machines are between two three hundred megabytes uh, which is a lot smaller than the actual even the ISO of the Ubuntu install. You go down to E downloads and switch to Ubuntu we want the XVA Zen server um, they have options here 12.04 long-term support is available here but you have to pay for a subscription the subscription is really reasonably priced for what you get in my opinion if you're doing a lot of these it's really nice to be able to do this stuff quickly and not spend a lot of time on it um, I am doing, going to use the XFC desktop version which is a really uh, low resource desktop to give me a graphical environment because I'm really terrible with the command line and I'll just use the newest version. Uh, usually I'd use the long-term support version, but since for the sake of this video, I want to use the free version. All right, so once you have it download, you have a BZ2 archive. If you have 7-zip installed, right-click and extract here, and you'll get your XVA uh, image, and then go to Zen Server, or your Zen Center. Right-click on your server node and import. Um, choose your file. Now this guy is going to show up as a template. Um, I only have one network interface. So we've got our template. It's importing and you can then spawn virtual machines from that template. So even though this is a virtual machine image we can't boot it directly. I think there's probably a way to convert it back to an image, but basically the idea is that you import this guy and then you can clone it um, as many times as you need to whenever you need, anytime you need to create a new virtual machine based on the space. And pause it while it's finishing. Alright, great, it's done. Now we can double click and it's automatically selected and this is the same you know virtual machine wizard you'd usually create a virtual machine through I'm gonna call it folding because I'm gonna install folding at home Ubuntu is already installed so we don't need installation media but we are gonna install Xen server tools so I'll just go ahead and select that here I could have done it later I'm gonna leave that as is I can change it um, I'm gonna leave fast disk clone on and the same network interface and then start the VM automatically pause it for a moment. All right, so the virtual machine is starting. It's booting up right now. We can even switch over to the console. And I'm going to cheat a little bit here. 
All right, root, and then the password is actually the word password. This is for the Stacklet VMs, which of course you could should change. I switched them out. Make a directory for our, our CD that we're mounting. Tab, enter, it's read only because it's a CD. Capital L. All right, usually you would run install.ch, but it doesn't work. It doesn't recognize my version of Ubuntu. So we're going to use dpackage. That's not right. Uh, and then the one I want, because this is a, the oh, this other thing is the virtual machines on Stacklet. The free ones are all, are all 32 bit, at least for Ubuntu. Um, they don't happen to have any 64 bit ones available at the moment, which is fine. If you need more than four gigabytes RAM for a virtual machine, you're probably in an enterprise environment and you can probably afford the $10 to download for the subscription. Anyway, um, I'm 32 bit guest VM, so I don't want these 64 ones or the underscore 64. I want the i386. So underscore i386 dot Debian. I'm just doing a wild card to grab that one because it's the only one that ends in that. And there we go. Now, I'm not going to install the Zen store because they don't have a Debian package for it here and I don't need it. Alrighty, now we're going to set up the VNC server. So there's uh, these stacklet images. You just do VNC server space colon one. All right, and then you need to create a password for your graphical environment here. And this should not be run under root. Uh, you know, usually you should copy that script to a different user and then log in with that user and run it. Um, but uh, for the sake of this, we're just going to do hit under root. I think I typed that wrong. Oh, it was fine. All right. My password was a couple letters too long. It's supposed to be eight characters, so, but that's fine. Even when you go into the the VNC viewer, it'll it'll truncate it for you. All right. IF config is how you find out your IP address. So we don't want the loop back. We want this one, the 127. Um, now I'm going to switch over to my VNC viewer. This is real VNC viewer. Run it. Um, and my IP address is 127. And you can see that this IP address is different than the Zing server IP address, even though they're all on the same network interface card, um, the same network interface port. And my DHCP just assigns each guest VM a new IP address. So if I had a whole bunch of VMs, I can you know see what the IP address for each one is. I could have as many remote consoles open as I want. I'm doing terrible with this password tonight. There we go. Right, and there's our server. And oh my god, it is dying on me. There we go. My screen capture and this VNC viewer are not working together. Anyway, so that's pretty much it. Hope you found that helpful.